Uh, hello, um, I'm Steve from You Can English Tutoring. In today's video, I'm going to record the assessment and correction of um, a nursing student's uh, letter. And I'm going to provide the word by word accurate assessment plus the feedback on each component. And finally, I will provide the overall score for her letter. Let's go through the letter. So she has um, written down the date on the top, and that's in the correct format, that's good. And then she has written on the addresses details, that's perfect, without any spelling mistakes, that's good. And then she has used the surname of the addressee, and then she has placed the comma as well, so that's good. And she has used the reference, and then it's better to use RE instead of REF. But she has mentioned the patient's name correctly, and then the age as well, that's good. Let's go through the introduction paragraph. Mr. Tom McMillan, who has been recovering from anemia, secondary to B12 deficiency, requires monitoring, planning, and further advice regarding the dietary modification from your service. So she has included all the relevant information in the introduction paragraph, that's a good thing. Um, but she has committed a couple of mistakes. I'll show you them. Look at this. Instead of writing the clinical dietitian, just the clinical dietitian, she should have written on the clinical dietitian on the top. Look at this. That's one of the mistake. That's the first mistake. You need to always ensure that you add the in front of the designation of the addressee. And then she has written on Mr. Tom Macmillan. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> she has used you know, the full name of the patient twice, which is not good. She should only use the full name of the patient or the addressee once throughout the letter. If she needs to use the same name, she needs to use only the surname of the addressee or the patient. So here, she should have written on Mr. Macmillan. That's it. But apart from that, it's all good in the introduction paragraph. Let's go to the next paragraph. In the second paragraph, let's go through this. Um, okay, there is another issue as well here. Um, she didn't add comma here, so it's not good. And the third one is in the inter in the first supporting paragraph. She has done zero five August, but five August is more than enough. Okay, Mr. Macmillan got admitted to our facility with the compliance of weakness and gastrointestinal disturbances. So we'll stop on assessment. He was pale and irritable. Uh, further investigations revealed remarkably reduced vitamin B12 and low hemoglobin levels. <laughs> Sorry, low hemoglobin, that is 7.8 gram per liter. He has a BMI of Three, uh, sorry, 221, okay. You cannot use abbreviations in your letter. It's not good. You need to expand it, body mass index. That's what we have to do. Let's go to the next one. <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> During hospital stays, that's not good. During hospital stay, that's perfect, okay? Because it's a plural, we don't need that. Macmillan was treated with three units of packed cell transfusion along with one liter of 10 percentage decrease. Um, okay, and then she mentioned like commenced on vitamin B12 injection. In addition, he was uh, provided with vegetarian diet rich in vitamin B12. Mr. Macmillan is a student who follows uh, vegetarian diet for the last eight years, he used to eat from outside as he's lazy to prepare food from uh, food, um, okay, food at room, okay. And then he's also a social drinker. Well, in this case, unfortunately, she didn't, she used it, he is lazy, but he, he needs to mention he was lazy because he used the past tense in the in the first section of the sentence. So he used to eat from outside as she, he was lazy. So that should be the correct one. 
All right, let's go to the next page. This is the next page of, of, his, of his letter. Let's go through that. As per the plan, you are requested to draw up a diet plan for Mr. Macmillan. Kindly encourage him to consume um, more B12 rich diet together with the fresh fruits and vegetables. He is instructed to continue B12 twice a week for two weeks and then once a week for three weeks. Off note, hemoglobin should be checked once a month. If you have any queries, please do not hesitate to contact me. Queries need to be re uh, re replaced with the questions because questions look more formal than queries. And then there is another one as well. Um, just a moment. Yes, off note is not good. You need to use please note. And then you have to write down the registeredness. So you have committed about 10 to 11 mistakes. Okay, let's go through the assessment now. Your grammar isn't up to the expectation. Your vocabulary could have been better with the use of more formal words. No abbreviation should be used. Connectivity is okay. You have used more simple sentences instead of using a combination of complex compound and simple sentences. So it's not good. Um, organization of case notes could have been better. You should have cut down unnecessary words. You have written on so many unnecessary words, which is not good. Um, if you write more than 220 words, uh, and if you include and important information after them, uh, you will not be able to achieve your desired course because they don't take those information into account for the assessment. Overall task fulfillment is okay. According to me, this letter sounds like uh, the one that is really close to C plus grade. If you wish to receive a free writing assessment for your OET, PT and IELTS examination for the first letter or first essay, you can send it to me through to my email address that is steve at youcanenglishtutoring.com or you can share it with me um, on my WhatsApp number that is plus six one four six eight four eight zero eight double seven or you can reach me on my Facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash youcantutoring. Thank you so much for watching this video and please like and share this video if you find the techniques helpful. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel and send it to your friends and family members as well. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.